What is happening? I'm in 64 Josh, and we're here talking about Super Mario 3D All Stars, the limited run of this game. I'm doing this live, twitch.tv slash n64 Josh. And the whole point of this video is we're gonna just talk about why is this game only available until March 31st? And what does this like what does this mean for future games? I don't know. I don't know. I do want to hear from my chat on this one. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments. What do you think about this game only being available until March 31st? Now, this is a it's a it's a scarcity tactic when it comes to comes to sales, right? Hey, this is only going to be available till this long and it 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 makes people not want to miss out. And so they start purchasing. I have two pre-ordered. I know a lot of other people. I've had people in my chat tell me I have three pre-ordered. You know, I might even in, end up with the digital so I can I can play it the, the day before and I don't have to wait for, for Amazon to ship my stuff. But we're also seeing these games sell out. Amazon is sold out. Target sold out. And it... It has some people concerned, some people are worried that they're not going to be able to, to, to get this game. Now, you're gonna be able to get it digitally up until the 31st, so you don't have to worry there. And if you like, if you want the game physical, this, this is tied into the holiday release. So I will almost guarantee you that there's going to be plenty of copies of this game in the wild. It is strange that they're they're pulling it off shelves. There's so much speculation on what's going to happen after the fact. And for people that end up picking up switches after the fact, or if the 4K switch is really coming out, which is it's it's looking like it's going to, possibly in in March even. And then some people getting into the switch for the first time that have have played other Nintendo games, and then this game isn't available now. Anybody that trades this game in at GameStop and stuff, you'll still be able to get used copies. What's the price going to be like? How inflated is it going to be? I, I, I think I've seen, I, I'd have to double check, but I think this game is like one of the top selling games in 2020 already. So, uh, right up underneath, underneath Animal Crossing, of course. So, but I want to see what my chat has to say. Um, Christian says it makes sense. It's limited because it's Mario's 35th and to the point to have it for the 35th sure okay um brit says gamestop's canceling pre-orders because they oversold uh wow oh wow wow okay people are already trying to sell the game for hundreds of dollars yeah there's been there's been scalpers on ebay that have had this game listed um you know i've seen it up to uh, as high as a thousand dollars you know it's just like it's craziness it is Craziness. Brister says the limited run is why I'm afraid of not being able to get a copy on Friday. People are way overcharging for the game already. Yeah. Yeah. Goji says I don't like it, but I can live with it. Unfortunately, it means I will probably I'm probably going to have to get get it digital because I can't pre-order right now. And I mean, here's the thing. There's with it being a, a, a first party switch title, it it does seem a little bit strange that it's it's limited, right? I mean, it's it's Mario. The the he's he's got he's got a he's got quite the long tail when it comes to people purchasing the games later on. I mean, Mario Kart still sells like crazy. It still sells like crazy. So a lot of people are asking the question: like, are isn't Nintendo leaving money on the table? It makes me wonder about the the like, are they not meeting and exceeding? sales goals for this fiscal year even with the way animal crossing is doing the way mario kart's still selling the fact that switch sold the best it has i think it i think it in the history of the month of august it sold more than any other console in history even outdoing the wii in like 2000 from 2008 so this seems like an this seems like a an attempt to make sales numbers for the fiscal year but everything seems to be pointing to them making money and and 
exceed i mean we know they exceeded the expectations animal crossing exceeded sales expectations they they thought animal crossing was going to sell like around 13 million total and the game's well over 20 million now so it's it it's it's just interesting to see to see this from such a well-known brand they i mean it, it, it's very interesting to me so I'll get back to chat here um spare train says i think it's because they're going to do zelda right after mario maybe maybe darth shadow says i just want a physical copy Super Nintendo says, I guess they've done this before with the Master Quest only being a pre-order bonus. I'm curious what other games they do it with. I mean, they've done this with, with consoles like the beautiful Animal Crossing Switch. I may never get, right? Yeah, that's true. They, they do, there are other things that are limited for sure. I mean, even the, even looking back, I'm looking at the box of All-Stars from the Wii. And I don't know how long that game was available. I'm, I'm not really sure. You know, Mario Maker 1 was like the 30th anniversary of of Mario. And that, I mean, that game continued continued on for a while. It was on 3DS, it was on Wii U. I mean, I even have the, the Mario Maker uh, uh, 2DS, the Wedge. So that, that sold forever. Super Nintendo says, I think Mario Kart selling like crazy might be part of the reason why, why they're doing this. If they have a standalone Mario game coming in 2021 or even 2022, it might not want uh, to make this game to take sales away from that game. But, I, I mean, I, I, can see, I can see your point. But with this game already doing so well, just with pre-orders, and I wonder, I wonder... Is it doing so well because of the, the, the scarcity? Because it is limited. But even Odyssey was like, the, the, it was high in the top 10 for the longest time. So I would have a hard time believing, it, it seems to me that this game would only sell more Mario games. And, and this is a, this is a great, this is one of these games where you've got you now have you know moms and dads and aunts and uncles that are like hey i can now show my kids or my my nieces and my nephews the first game that i played on the 64 which is mario 64 so there's that there's there's that factor there to see that go away that bums me out you know especially the digital i can understand the physical like let's only print so many but why take it off of the eShop? Now, maybe something else is going to replace it. Maybe these games will all be sold individually at a, at a higher price point, possibly. Who knows? Maybe there's a plan. I mean, we, the Wii U had pretty much every Nintendo console minus the 3DS and the GameCube on, on the eShop. So... Maybe Nintendo Switch Online gets these games and they're not the widescreen ports. Maybe, maybe that's the, the, the difference. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. Brett says it, pats, it, it went pat, it's uh, already sold more than Last of Us 2 in a matter of four days and just pre-orders was the top selling game up until this. And oh, and Last of Us 2 was the top selling game up until this came out. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Wow. Oh. So there you go. Nintendo likes their scarcity taxes. It worked for them with the mini consoles. Yeah, it, it, it did. It did. Those things... They sold, they sold like crazy, and then they re-released them, you know? So, and again, maybe, maybe that's what's going to happen here. Maybe there will be some kind of re-release that won't, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there'll be like a, a Super Mario 3D collection with, with Galaxy 2 and, and Odyssey. You know, I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure. It, uh, it, it, it's definitely interesting though because this also seems like it could be a game that could be packed in with a with a switch you know you could do you could do they could do a like a mario themed switch with with a i mean a, a bunch of mario titles I, i'm not really sure 
I'm not really sure what I mean I know I know the tactic is to get as many many sales as possible but going back to Mario Kart having such a long tail and selling so well month after month yeah just like Odyssey slowly declined so so will this game but Odyssey declined over years not over months and is still selling even today so it's it's strange it's strange let me know in the comments what you think thank you so much for watching remember to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video bye now